Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this morning I went and cut out this box and it's like two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I started thinking it would be a, a good little spot for a tea candle. I don't think it would ever get hot enough to damage the wood, but that's your call. But it'd be used for anything and you can make it any size. I've already shared it on my Facebook page, Corel Draw File Share under files. This is made to be cut out of eighth inch plywood. And I did the bottom a little bit different. I, I saw it in the picture that I was creating and I might even make a video on how I created that. It was really easy. But I, if you're gonna cut this out, I would test your joints. And I've said this many, many times. So there's two joints on this you need to test. And if you can see these tabs, that's that tab right there sticking through, making kind of like a bottom without having the finger joints. So to test your joints, so when you unload, upload my file, to make sure it's gonna uh, fit your plywood, I would just take a rectangle and go like right here, getting about that many, take your smart fill tool and fill in that, and fill in that, and then take those two, two pieces, move them off to the side somewhere, and I would, I always make a copy, and I should have made a copy of it just in case you messed something up, and then left click, no fill, right click, hairline, and then you're gonna take those to the laser, and you're gonna test the other joints too. Well, I made a mistake there. You actually wanna test this joint and this, well, all the joints would fit, but I would test, so these are both the same side of the box. So I would test that joint. Then I would take my rectangle down here and I would test another joint, which so you'll have the opposite. So when you move that out of the way and move that out of the way, they're gonna fit together like that. You can select them both, left click, right click and make sure it's a hairline, which it is. And then those two joints will fit. And I did it at like 0.3 kerf. So if you'll see the overlapping joint is for the kerf. This, this wasn't real tight. It was, matter of fact, it could be a little bit tighter, but it went to well, uh, together real well. So then I would test this joint and you could do that in numbers, numerous ways. Just take you a, uh, two point line and fill that in. Whoop, grab my parallel dimension tool. Take your two point line and go from that node to that node. And it'll give you a little bit of jagged edge, but it'll give you that, that uh, joint right there. And then I would test this joint and you could do that in numerous, numerous ways, but holding down the control button to get a straight line and then fill that in, and then those two joints should fit. This doesn't really matter. It's gonna fit, uh, regardless, well, unless your plywood's a little thicker than eighth inch, so that's why you'd wanna test that joint. So that's how easy it is to test the joint. So when you get the file, the pictures won't be in there, so it won't take up so much room. But this is made for eighth inch plywood. Uh, most plywood is gonna be birch, and I've already put it on my Corel file share under files right here just called box with a pattern. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.